Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we are delving into the topic of inflation and its potential interaction with the recently announced mortgage assistance measures and the potential interference these measures may have with inflation and the Bank of England's ability to hit their 2% target anytime soon. So first of all, just to clarify, high inflation refers to prices of goods and services increasing rapidly and consistently over a period of time. It means that the cost of the things that we want to buy keeps going up at a faster rate than usual. Imagine the price of the nation's favorite, the 10p Freddo bar. That same bar is now costing 25p. So you get the idea. High inflation makes it harder for us to afford the things we need, reducing value for money, meaning we can buy less with the same amount of money. High inflation can occur due to factors like increased demand. Borrowing has been low cost for too long, therefore households have been able to afford to spend. Supply chain disruptions, such as those caused to the supply of microchips due to COVID and a whole host of other supply issues due to the war in Ukraine, or indeed changes to government policies. For example, furlough during COVID has undoubtedly artificially propped up the economy and the prolonged ability for continued consumer spending fueling inflation. Now, to tackle inflation, central banks step in by raising interest rates. By making borrowing more expensive, higher interest rates discourage people from taking on new debt and instead incentivize spending less and saving more. Reducing consumer spending plays a vital role in addressing the root causes of inflation. When people spend less, it alleviates the pressure on demand, which helps stabilize prices. It also allows businesses to adjust their production and pricing strategies to match changing market conditions. By curbing consumer spending, the economy finds a balance between supply and demand, ultimately helping to lower inflationary pressures. However, curbing consumer spending does present challenges. Consumer spending is a major driver in economic activity, and when it declines, it can have a dampening effect on economic growth. Reduced spending can lead to decreased sales for businesses, potentially resulting in job losses and reducing investment. Therefore, it is crucial to strike a delicate balance between curbing spending to control inflation and maintaining overall economic stability. So that's inflation, and I think it's safe to say we are very much in the thick of it when it comes to all the traditional drivers of high inflation. But now let's focus on one specific factor known throughout history to impact inflation, and that is changes to government policy and in particular, the mortgage assistance measures introduced by the government, which aim to provide relief to struggling mortgage borrowers. While they offer support to homeowners in need, it's important to consider their potential unintended consequences. The suggested measures such as delaying repossessions and offering flexible repayment options can inadvertently fuel consumer spending and actually increase overall demand in the economy. When borrowers receive assistance, it actually eases their financial burden and frees up disposable income. This extra money can be spent on other goods and services, leading to an upsurge in demand. However, if the increase in spending is not met with a corresponding increase in supply, it can contribute to inflationary pressures. Additionally, the mortgage assistance measures may indirectly influence interest rates. When borrowers switch to interest-only mortgages or extend their mortgage terms, it can result in a prolonged period of debt, interest payments, and indeed the overall level of debt. This may then actually limit the effectiveness of further interest rate hikes by the Bank of England in an attempt to control inflation. With lower monthly mortgage payments, borrowers may have more disposable income to spend, potentially adding to inflationary pressures. In an ideal scenario, we would have to assume that the mortgage assistance measures are intended to strike a perfect balance between households being no worse off and therefore mitigating the risk of losing their homes, whilst at the same time being no better off and suddenly finding themselves with an increase to the disposable income. We are traditionally not great at saving. If disposable income is then spent, this will have the negative effect of further stimulating the economy, resulting in further inflationary pressures on the things we buy. The Bank of England primarily uses interest rate adjustments as a tool to manage inflation. By raising interest rates, borrowing becomes more expensive, which helps cool down an overheating economy and reduce inflationary pressures. However, if the mortgage assistance measures undermine the impact of interest rate hikes, it becomes more challenging for the central bank to achieve its inflation target. The effects of the mortgage assistance measures on consumer spending will need to be monitored very carefully. If consumers are suddenly cash rich with disposable income, inflation will not come down and the objective of providing price stability will not be met. 
Thank you for watching and now be sure to subscribe as in the next video we are going to discuss the real world pros and cons of the mortgage assistance measures and we'll do some actual sums on the impact they could have on borrowers over the long term.